Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our super best fancy, fancy package package test location in the southwest of England. Now, today is a brand new video type for me. I've never done an unboxing video before, but uh, they seem to be quite the thing on the internet, and I was requested to do one. Uh, by Mr. Brock Little over at BHL because he had elected to send me a package. Now that package has arrived and it is in this, the golden envelope. Now I haven't seen what's in here and Brock didn't tell me what's in the package. Uh, I don't really have any indication of it, but uh, I'm going to open it for you guys uh, in real time. I haven't opened it at all myself. I can just show you. That has not been opened. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera so it's coming top down uh, and you will just see my magic hands and hear my voice. So let's find out what's in this thing right now. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So, quite an exciting moment really. Oh, I feel, I think I feel a pouch. Oi! <laughs> yeah. Got two pouches. Oh my god. Three pouches. So, what we've got here is Brock always ships his stuff in uh, these little pouches. And I have had uh, a couple of these over the last couple of years. And um, the first ones I got were yellow, uh, which were rather handsome little things. I've got, I've got one here off my pin board from a previous order. But I've no idea what's in these, so let's just open them one at a time. Ooh. Whee! Look at that! Yeah, I think that's acrylic. Immaculately finished, as ever. Super black. Like, joke black. Fantastic. Okay, let's see, how thick is she? Let's get the old calipers out. Always remember to zero your, uh, always remember to zero your calipers. That is four point 4.7 mil thick, which is pretty healthy. It's in my Goldilocks zone, as they say. I'll just leave that down here. Um, and move on to this one. Oh, oh, okay, I know where these are. So, so this is the new version of the Spartan. Uh, this is made from uh, polysulfane. Now, I've got the old version of this where all the lettering was written in red and recessed. But this is the new version. He's updated the edges and changed the tip slightly. Now, I'm a big, big fan of this in the version I have, and I'm expecting this will be, if anything, even faster uh, with a very serious strike to it, which is the characteristic of the Spartan. And speaking of which, we also have the Orpheus. Now this is the thinner version of it and this is made from uh, high-grade Altex which is super cool. Now both these picks are very very good and I'd actually written a review of this one um, before finding out that I had a slightly older version of it. Brock is always updating and changing his models, never resting on his laurels which is good. But um, but both these both these picks are very very nice, and I'm going to measure them now. So the Spartan is coming in at uh, 3.9 millimeters. Well, there's always a, a little bit of discrepancy with these calipers, just by about a hundredth of a mil. So let's call it four mil for the sake of it. And the Orpheus is uh, one. 1.5, 1.6. I really like these ones. I'm not a big fan of picks under 2 mil on a personal level, though I recognise they have their place, of course, but that is not bad. 
the other two are uh, the two versions of the X Ultim Overkill. Uh, this is the one that had to get dialed back from its original version because the diamond kick plate grips on this were so fierce they would pull at your fingers. This is the updated version. These, I believe, are made from Altex. Um, this is the new thick one, which I'm really excited to try. That grip is really good. Huh. And he's got nice, soft edges on these as well. That's really cool. So this is the thinner version. Uh, this is more akin to the uh, Dunlop Jazz Altex XL, which is a great pick. Um, but that's got even more grip and more aggression so if you if you like the if you like a really aggressive pick then um i would imagine these would be perfect let's see how thick they are so that is 3.1 millimeters and 1.9 so still pretty healthy in the grand scheme of things. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the final bag. <laughs> oh, crikey. Okay. Well, now. So what we've got here, both these picks, so these are both made from UHMWPE, which is the which is ultra high molecular rate polyethylene, and my very first pick, as it happens, from BHL was a UHMWPE Megalodon, um, which you can see uh, in photographs on the website. But uh, that, I believe, is the HP Micro, which is one of his earliest models and that will be an HP yes now this this material I've covered in videos before on the science uh, and talked about the fact that uh, it's it doesn't feel like anything else it's got a feeling kind of like suede um, but when you get so it's, it's very very tactile but when you get damp fingers as I shall demonstrate look at the surface now you get that, you get just the merest hint of dampness and it's, there's so much grip, it's crazy. Now for those of you who like speed and like a slightly softer attack, but still with plenty of force, UHMWPE is wicked. You have to, you will have to forgive my camera's uh, desperate autofocus attempts, it's very keen. So this is his original, I've never played one of these, this is the original HP Micro. And that, I believe, so this is another HP Micro, uh, but done in, I guess, Altex this time. I've got an assailant that looks like this, which is a great pick. It's very, very, very aggressive. Like, mm. So let's have a wee measure and see how thick these are. Now, before I do that, actually, I will raise this up like Simba to the camera. And hopefully you can see, go on, focus. There you go. Hopefully you can see in the top, see how it's very slightly curved towards the centre and then out again. So Brock puts this little sort of concave uh, aspect on both sides of the pick and it means that it curves around your thumb. It means that it curves around your thumb there and it's just a little bit neater. Actually the grip on that's it's very warm in here, but the grip and the grip on this is very similar to my um, to my assailant. If anything, it's actually a little bit nicer. I love how wide that is. It's like the bodybuilder version of a Jazz Three. That's brutal. Can't wait to try that out. So let's have a look and see how thick these are. And it's difficult to measure this because of the concave nature. But so the micro is. 4.5 millimeters thick in UHMWPE. I would imagine this will be about the same. Yeah, 4.5 again for the Altex version. And then the classic HP is 4.9. 
So yeah, they're all round about the sort of 5 mil mark. Now I know that Brock usually makes of a reasonable thickness. It's still really nice to see the change in these models, especially things like uh, the Spartan and the Overkill, because it's like what Dunlop did with the original Tortex, or going from Nylon to Tortex, and then from Tortex, the 351 shape into the Flow series, because you're trying to improve uh, on an existing design rather than just saying, okay, well, that's done, and let's just accept it. This is the one that I'm really, really interested I mean, I'm interested in all of this, but I'm really, really interested in this because the HP Micro is, or the HP, is kind of where he started, um, where BHL started from. And uh, I think that's really wicked. The finishing is, as always, extremely good. Seeing as this is the HP Micro, and it's a material with which I'm very familiar and fond, let's, uh, let's have a quick rattle of this and see how it sounds. That is a supreme haul from BHL, so massive thanks to Brock. If you would like to go and check out any of his stuff, in fairness, if you're watching this video, you're probably more than aware of him, but if you do, if you are brand new to this, welcome to the Black Traverse. If you want to find out any more about any of these, there's a link in the description. Uh, you can also uh, visit BHL on the socials. I shall leave a link to that and it'll have been floating around the video as well. If there's anything that you'd like me to cover in future videos uh, or anything, any brands that you think that I need to give my time to here on Heavy Repping, then please do let me know. You can follow uh, at Heavy Repping on the socials uh, or you can go to heavyrepping.com or leave me a comment here. There's now a Patreon for the page as well uh, and that goes as little as a dollar a month. All that money goes back into the channel and helps me in the future travel to go and interview people for things. Uh, or to get more picks or upgrade equipment and that sort of stuff. So if you want to help at all, that really helps me um, to maintain this. I do this on top of my day job. Uh, I would be thrilled to have you on board. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, the first of its kind for me. I'd like to send a massive thanks to Brock over at BHL for sending me such a gorgeous array of items uh, to go with my existing BHL collection. Uh, and it's all stuff that I don't have or don't have current versions of, so mega thanks. I'll be back with more news, reviews, interviews, and more from the Plectroverse. But in the meantime, my name is John Tron Davidson. This is Heavy Repping, and I shall see you soon. So remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard and rep heavy.